So understood. So apart from someone, one person saying that nothing they are feared, they are fearful of. Everybody else has some or the other sort of hindrances or fears broadly in their mind about networking, which is great. I'm really glad to see that you guys are being honest. There's one someone typing in. I'm let that finish and I'll move to the last question. And then we'll start. Oh, there are two people typing in now. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Super. See, I the, mm -hmm. the idea of this exercise is also to get you to see that you're not alone in all this. Every, I'm sure some of you guys mm -hmm. feel the same thing. Uh, uh, if you guys can go on mute, but some of you guys feel the same thing as others, right? So there's a lot of commonality in these issues and how how our mind works and what we think and what we don't. Moving to another one. Sorry, guys, I got to move in just of time to the next question. Thank you for participating. What would be the probable purpose or reason that would get you in a networking event? Right? Again, similar format. Please try and type in answers. I'd like to know what would the purpose be? Why would you? Why would you go ahead, network online, offline, talk to someone, you know, come into this session for that matter? This is also a form of networking, right? Um, why would you do professional connect? Very fair. I would do so. I would do, do so as well. Brilliant. Come on. Love to see more participation. I'll also check the text windows. Um, referrals. Knowledge. Fair enough. Brilliant. Kept my text window as well. Uh, drive more sales to expand our reach and find new opportunities. Fair enough. To build strong relationship with clients. Professional connect. Very true. Improve contacts, very new, very nice. Correct. Learn more. Fair enough. Get to know the world perspective. Very nice, yeah. Very nice. Very nice to hear that someone thinks very broadly as well. Network for a client, increase our connect, use it for increasing sales. Learn more. Fair enough. Career growth. Absolutely, why not? Absolutely, why not? I love, I love this. Brilliant stuff, guys. All of you are very participative people. I love this. Networking. I'll let some people finish. Trends, fair enough. You can answer more than one also, right? Once also. Yeah. Just, just saying that. Connections, fair enough. Market feedback of products. Absolutely. Brilliant. I would also love to hear from people about feedback of my session. Absolutely. Um, grow more uh, across the limited boundary, business possibility, sales. I see sales as a very common answer. Business and sales, very nice. And professional. Uh, Connection career, absolutely right. Connect with like-minded people. I like that. Absolutely brilliant. One last person responding. I see how 11 people have responded. So that's brilliant. I see more people responding. Brilliant. So, so this is it. Uh, lovely. Uh, first of all, thank you for participating. I just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, I'm assuming a lot of you would have similar perspectives, uh, similar questions, similar pieces. There's so many similarities in what you're looking for. And that's what we'll try and cover. We'll try and cover whether you want to professionally network, you want to network for uh, you know your personal career growth, you want to network for like-mindedness to learn more, whatever the reason might be, uh, you know, how to go about this, right? How do you do this? What, you know, and to kind of remove all the fears that you have or, or you know in your mind. Just give me a second. Sorry, I'm talking screen. That's where we are. So, you know, the first thing that you see, um, and let's make it more communicative if possible. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. You know, Helen Keller. Anybody in the audience knows who Helen Keller is? Before I go ahead, trying to make this interactive, guys. Um, give me something. Anybody knows Helen Keller here? Yeah, hi, Ravi Desai. Uh, yeah. Hi, hi. Good to hear, Ravi. Good to hear a voice. Yeah. Who's Helen Keller? Yeah, if for the audience. Actually, I'm not exactly remembering because I like learn about her in fourth or fifth standard. She was it like is... deep and dumb lady. Yeah. And she got uh, some education from her friend or teacher side, and suddenly one day she started, I think, speaking. Absolutely uh, right. So she uh, was a she was a deaf and dumb person. She was a political activist. She was an educator. Imagine that, and she was a public figure and she's also, I think, an author. She has done right. so much in her life without even having, she did have ability to see and, and, and hear as, since the child, as a child. So she said this, she said, alone, we can do so little because, you know, as a deaf and dumb person, life can be lonely, but together we can do so much. Please read about her. She's a brilliant figure of the yesteryears. 
and a brilliant lady and she's achieved so much in life without even having eyes to see and you know ears to hear from all sorts but thank you so much for responding to this i'm going to move ahead quickly let me know if you can see my screen moving ahead so we've used two words called net worth and network i just wanted to first start with definition so you all of you understand what net worth is um net worth largely means all the assets all the money and all the things that you as a person or a corporation or your company owns and obviously whatever minus whatever you owe to the owe to someone right for example i could have, i i i could own 100 rupees or 1000 rupees but i owe 500 to somebody that i have to give back to so i my net worth becomes 500 rupees right why do it's better than that but continues to that's my idea of how net worth look like looks like and then network right what is a network right network is a large system consisting of many similar parts that are connected together to allow movement or communication between or along the parts or between parts but what what forget all of this as a definition what you are basically realizing is network is like multiple things and people or aspects and there is something going from one place to the other via these people in forms of communication of sorts i will try and um, in the session uh, kind of communicate more please switch on your cameras wherever possible please interact ask questions i am keeping this open ended but this is what net worth and network mean these are the two words where we are building the session to so i'm going to start quickly with why is having a network so important anybody would like to and i have mentioned people versus you know bigger than google as a small statement underneath but uh, anybody wants to take a dig at this question why is having a network so important anybody please be confident it's okay we all are learning we can make mistakes you can speak in hindi english or any other language that you are comfortable with that i would understand but why is having a network so important anybody because we don't have the perspectives of the others also to know Sorry? getting the, getting the idea to know the perspective of the others fair enough very nice and all that and understood anybody else wants to take this dig we don't have the solution to the every problem so we need network fair enough fair enough anybody else wants to take a shot at this why is having a network so important i think solving the uh, solving the larger problem having a, a different network different expertise to solve the problem to add value to society very nice yaar yeah. absolutely correct we are not masters of all so we might want to learn and know from others if needed help absolutely one last person wants to take a dig at it yes i mean they said so Hi, as per me networking is uh, like important to get the help or to provide the help if someone is need so if i am not able to like uh, get that help so i need that connection for that time and if someone in need and i am not aware about that so that is the like only platform through which we can aware that who need what and what time brilliant yaar yeah. uh, uh, ravi very ravi right is that correct yes yeah very good answer yaar yeah. um, uh, matlab you should be taking the session i should be very nice uh, why is absolutely so good good answers all of them i have mentioned people bigger than google right you know the challenge with having google now is that we try and go on google and look for all answers right and we forgotten that actually people built google and you know lot of people then in you know lot of forums and everything not you know answer these questions which get tagged on your searches which you look at and so on and so forth right and in fact if you look go behind right you know earlier there was no google maps you would go in a car and actually ask people you know should i take a left i want to go there there you know before that. and it's not bad that we have i'm glad there is so much uh, you know technology and so many things but we can't take away people out of this right people are the central uh, you know sort of nodal point to what it is right for example if you you know earlier if you had to you know decide that you want to travel to a city you would go to a neighbor who would have already traveled ask your family friends if someone has gone to a city and then accordingly plan with interaction today some of that has become google so we have to for, first of all we have to understand people are an essential part of our lives and hence it is very important to network and networking cannot only be about digital it has to be outside the world of digital as well right so i'm going to go ahead and go to the next can i know and just by you know raise of hands or comments do you hear all of these things uh, between sometimes you look at someone and you like hey you know he or she is so lucky or you know or you hear from someone else you know always at the right place at the right time 
everything he or she touches becomes gold he or she finds a job so easily he or she is doing so well in life everybody talks about them how many of you you know kind of um, you know by you know i am assuming a lot of you hear this or feel sometimes looking at people this way is that correct anybody wants to take a dig at this I raise of hands on the chat uh, could also help or on your screens do you guys kind of feel that way brilliant yes people feel that way i'm glad i'm glad you know that's the problem we all feel that way but you'll realize right when you talk, look at such people right who are doing so well they'll always be backed by friends families larger ecosystem you know and so many other things you'll see this commonality in them you know because they have such a valid and such a worthwhile network right and that's one single point i want to why they're not lucky they built something with time right super now what are the advantages right i'm going to jump from this place to what are the advantages of these networks because i've just told you what you feel right having a network right as you rightly said 80% of the jobs globally by the way get fulfilled by referrals we you know it's a referrals either referral online a referral via a friend who knows you you know a colleague it could be a job hunter who has spoken to you before but 80% of your jobs kind of um, you know get fulfilled by a sort of a, a you know net referrals of sorts we need support groups we live we all lead hard lives sometimes aggressive sometimes we have no clue what we're doing we need support groups mental health so many other things right we all need mentors and guides right we all have common interests and we want to have fun sometimes you know i you want to go out in an evening in a new country that you're traveling to or a new city you are in or you've moved to a new place and you have nobody to have fun with everybody is busy or you are today you know you have a day to celebrate and everybody else is busy in their lives so having people with common interests and fun kind of adds value to your life right that is what the advantages of networking can be investment opportunities if some of you are looking at raising money selling stuff you know some of those opportunities kind of kill it kills loneliness the world is a lonely place all of us are super busy with whatever we're doing how our lives are going it's we hardly find any time to interact as you know like hey you know what when i had my birthday as a kid you know everybody was around you know everybody had so much fun there were gifts there was so much but today it's i have to invite people to birthday parties you know so it is a lonely life we all are leading while we're digitally connected like someone said learning right finding dating finding a partner starting something up right if you want to start something up you know is my idea right wrong am i doing the right things right even in, in you know as critical as dating or finding a partner it's hard to find like minded people you want to get married to you want to propose to someone only unless you're out there how do you world is not going to come to you right sorry about that dream and a purpose right you know sometimes we are misguided we don't have a dream or we have a dream but we don't know what to do with that dream should i get into doing something that for fun for a startup for anything i'm too scared how do we do this right so these are the advantages that a network can bring in you know it can add value to your dream and purpose passion hey you know what i met someone who recently after spending 35 years on this planet at the age of 35 years was not a creative person at all suddenly figured out at this age along with a corporate job that she wants to actually become a, a interior designer she started painting places doing interior stuff for fun her own home for her friends and so on so started sharing on the social media she had no clue none of her friends had a clue but at 35 years of age in last one year she figured this out so you know sometimes networks people can help you bring out your inherent network passion and net multiplier effect right you have a product you have a business you want leads you want help you know everything spreads with network right whether it be online or offline so there's a lot of inherent advantages of having a network from here i you know started with the fact that hey you know it's some of you feel these sort of things that people have then the advantages of having a network and getting into four c's of networking right this is where i want to come in right there are four c's that i follow of when i am networking when i'm going to an event when i'm on right now on the you know on the platform just chatting with you guys up i am uh, you know uh, traveling for a meeting you know i am meeting my new friends their friends i'm meeting family i'm doing events anything of that sort right i have four c's of networking first and foremost is be confident guys be very confident it's okay what is this fear what is the fear of making a mistake there is 
you know there is we all make mistakes big deal you know you know so have be very confident about what you are who you are don't feel any less it's okay even if you know you've just started with your life your career you know you're going through mess try and maintain that confidence for yourself confidence is just a practice you know you can be confident without even knowing anything and it's okay it's it's a quality right build on it second piece of networking is curiosity right because first p first c confidence is going to get you to start a conversation second piece is curiosity have be be curious as a person right like for example i'd like to know you know what what an aditya or a priya or a aryan who are these people where are they coming from what are what are they doing in life right we should be curious unless we are curious we are not going to ask questions we are not going to interact with anybody so after having confidence you should have the curiosity to go and ask right that's very important it's very important to be curious in life the third piece is conversation if you have the confidence and the curiosity and if you have then you will automatically have an ability to hold a conversation right and conversations are the essential part of meaningful networking right please some of you guys said we want to get more leads we want to referrals careers and so on so you want to go up, up to somebody hey i want a job hey why i want to sell to you people are going to get put off that's too direct right first try and get to know about people try and have a organic conversation how you talk to your friends colleagues family you know anybody just have a conversation try and know who they are where they come from try and talk about what you are where you come from what are you doing what are your interests what are their interests you know that's a conversation don't get to an agenda saying you know you know what i want to sell to you i want to have lead to you you know ask you know look for stories tell them stories you know so confidence curiosity conversation all of these three things when they come together you form a connection and i'd say this to everybody right both young and old today because of the number of events that happen sometimes you all get bored you know we can't even go the amount of things we get invited to the amount of people that we see but the challenge is we don't form connections we don't form bonds they are just superficial you know and that's what we need to we need to have confidence we have need to have curiosity we need to have conversation and we need to form a meaningful connection and trust me in life you don't know where someone can come of help to you you'll be surprised and i will tell you some stories you know of how you know i was uh, i was in spain in a city called valencia right and uh, we we'd gone there to uh, you know you know go clubbing late in the night so if you some of you have traveled the world you will realize that the club opens in spain at about 12 o'clock 12 12:30 1 o'clock and actually shuts at clubs shuts at about in the morning 6 7 o'clock in the morning that's how that culture works that's what people go there for and you know we we reached in early it's my first time in spain and we reached early to the club and it was so funny that the club was shut and in india probably you know we enter clubs at about 10 and 30 you know if we're going for partying or we going for fun and so on so right and i went there and and you know it was shut they said hey you know why don't you come after an hour or so and, or two and we went back so we had nowhere else to go because we taken a cab long way spent a lot of euros <laughs> now we had no way to go back and we were a couple of three four friends and we saw a small outlet serving doner kebabs doner kebabs are very famous in europe now and if you i'm a vegetarian so if you're a vegetarian it's very hard to find food in europe so we saw this place you know these guys look like south asian south south asian people and uh, you know i went in you know they were very similar they were they actually were talking to each other in hindi so that you know kind of started a conversation so there was an old man and two people and you know we started talking and i realized that hey you know what they were from pakistan i was from india first i was on the back foot i'm saying hey you know what i'm from india these guys are pakistan we don't have the friendly relationships how will it work out and so on so forth so i kept quiet but we started having a conversation it went to you know you know discussing how india is like friendly how we come from the same you know high, uh you know old old history and this and that eventually this connection that we created in you know like half an hour you know they didn't even take food for the money that we ate as friends and we all of ate food there you know so you know it doesn't take fa- time to bond with people and you don't know where can people come of help and be nice to you and so on so forth so confidence curiosity conversation connection we we'll quickly move ahead right if you've understood any questions up till here guys before i move into some of other theories and pieces um trying to keep it question you have any questions till now 
Should I go ahead? Anything, anything anybody wants to ask? Anything we want to talk about anything? Just checking in before I move ahead? No. Super, super. So how to build a network, right? This is very, very important, right? And, and when I say network, please try and see networks are only channel. You can have digital networks, you can have non-digital networks, right? Please don't treat networks as just your LinkedIn connections or your Twitter followers or your Twitter connects or your Facebook friends. Please network is beyond just, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, just social uh, media of sorts, right? It is beyond, right? People around you, people in your organizations, your neighbors, you know, the shopkeeper that you buy from, you know, uh, you know, the football team that you play with, the music school that you go to, could be anything, right? These are your networks. And trust me, you can find people anywhere you want to and they can personally and professionally aid you. Like I could go to a music class bound with someone and that person can actually recommend me to an organization where I can get hired into because I had a conversation with that person. So that's how it is. So how do we build a network? First and foremost, we live in a world of, digital media and you need to have a digital identity right you need to have a decent looking facebook profile you need to have a decent looking probably a instagram if you're on a linkedin a twitter if not too much but a decent looking one right and i i'm, I'm sorry in instagram i can't cover what how do we build all of those sort of things but i did see someone taking a session on linkedin uh, where they're talking about how to create a linkedin profile and how what are the things that you need to keep in but why do we need to have a digital identity First of all, anybody wants to take a dig at why is it very important today to start building a network to have a digital identity? It, obviously, assuming that you've not interacted with that person, him or her before of sorts. Anybody wants to take dig at this, this particular answer? Anybody? Uh, you're asking for digital identity, right? Yeah, why do you want, why should we have a digital identity? Why, why is there a need? when we can connect and meet people offline, but why have a digital identity? Uh, digital identity give me, uh, there are multiple opportunity to expose uh, scale uh, large, uh, right? Because if you have a network limited uh, where you are physically, but if you can have a digital identity, maybe linked in any social media, you can share, you can view, you can, uh, you know, uh, contribute as well. So digital identity is a, a bigger thing and Nowadays, all young generation, everybody trying to move everything digital. So all you people get in the digital itself. So, Absolutely. So probably Absolutely. where the people is there, where the money, where the knowledge, where the everything in the digital only. Understood. So when I say a digital identity, thank you for answering that question. And please, um, can I know your name? If, because we didn't get to know your name. So because there's so many people. Upender. Upender. Thank you, Upender, for answering that for me. Please do mention your name, everybody, when you kind of uh, this thing. But... Uh, the importance of digital identity today, and rightly said by Upendra as well, is the fact that today, even when we buy a, you know, like a, you know, I'll say a bottle of water, right? We look for reviews online. We go to a dine-in at a restaurant, we look for reviews online or how have other, any of our friends and relatives eaten there or sorts, right? We are in this world of searching and Google, right? And social media, right? So when you go and meet people, the first thing that they do after listening to your name is probably a Google search while they shouldn't do it. They should believe in what you're saying, but that's how it happens. The first first action that they do is go on Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, or some social media to see, and all of us do it. Even I do it, right? And they check who you are, where do you work, what sort of content do you share online, and so on. So, so it's very important to build bonds today to have a basic level of digital identity where it represents some bit of your personality, personally or professionally, depending on the platform that you're at. It is a very a critical thing in the current digital world to have that. So please, if you want to build a network, please have a smart, have a smart photo. Please don't write rude things. Please comment well. Trust me, everything shows up. Everything is indexed on pieces. People can find things. So be nice, be professional, be honest, be or share things nicely and you know all of those sort of things. So have a digital identity. Second, Start sharing what you feel online. That's one of the best way to, you know, often we are so, so scared, right? Oh, what if I write like this? What if that someone will read it? What will they think if my English is wrong? If my sentence is broken? What if I'm using Hindi and English? What if I don't have anything to share? I have anything to write. What if someone passes a hate comment? Not, nothing of that matters. That is the only thing that is stopping you from it working. First of all, when you're writing this, you're writing on 
Facebook, Google, somewhere, 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 right? You know, anything digital, right? They are social networking platforms. That is why they were built. They wanted people to say, hear, and connect things. So please feel free. Don't be scared. Start and please, there will be no day. No one has this much time that you will write and it will be perfect. I made a PPT. I don't have any images. I didn't find time. I was busy. So I thought, hey, you know what? Does that stop me from actually doing a presentation? No, absolutely not. You know, I would love to interact and I will write down what I feel on the slide. Maybe it's not, it doesn't have 20 images, three, four videos, but it is what I want to say. It might not be perfect and it is imperfect and it's completely okay, but it is what I want to share with everybody, right? So start from somewhere, start imperfect. And some you'll realize that there is, there is by doing these imperfect things, multiple period of time, you will see certainly you will consistency will get you to perfection, right? So there will no be no perfect day. Point number three, right? Please, please attend events. I have this piece at an event could be a professional event. There is nothing. If you can't go and, you know, take your product, can't set up a stall, go for an event, walk in, you know, meet people, you know, go as an individual, you know, a person who wants to meet, go meet, see things. It will increase your horizon perspectives. Both are digital and physical. Trust me, when you go to events, when you interact with people, people learn from people. People learn by interactions. And that's the fastest way to grow. And I would like to highlight that, please make sure you make time and effort for phys physical events. In the post-pandemic, a lot of people have become introverts or ambiverts of sorts. So they don't like to go outside and do things. They like everything online and they, everything should come to them. But trust me, right? When you are in a digital setup right here, right? There are, we have six, five, six senses, right? We are actually using very few senses to interact. So, you know, we need to do more than what we are on, right? So please go on digital and physical events, join, join communities, please. You know, uh, you know, today, uh, you know, communities could be like, hey, you know, what should we do post MBA? Or it could be about how to learn painting. It could be our you know, how do we, how to build business in Latin America or the US? It could be, hey, you know what, our D2C founders, or it could be anything, you know, it could be anything, but join communities. You learn and share with people and people share your things and concept. Another piece that people have forgotten is host people, please. You know, often going out is not. Please ask people to come at your houses, you know, invite people, uh, you know, uh, uh, host people at homes, host people in offices, you know, it, it gives them an understanding of who we are, uh, you know, personally, professionally, who, and they, it builds comfort, confidence, right? So a good way to actually do networking, if you see some people don't like too many people, so you can do interpersonal networking as well. Um, and uh, going forward, right? How to build a network? Listen and read content and connect. You know, when I, when I listen to content, when I read things, I write to people. You know, I go and see their, you know, workshops or, you know, movies or, you know, their shows, you know, it could be a, uh, you know, what do you say? It could be a stand-up comedy. It could be anything, you know? So, you know, listen, read content, right? And connect using that, right? Hey, you know what? I might fight someone here. I, I enjoy cycling or I enjoy running. I'm sure there are any, any runners in here? Anybody who likes to run? Any fitness people? Anybody who likes to be fit? If in the chat, you can say, hey or uh, hi or anything it'll be nice to see common people right any 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 anybody who likes to run any like but who likes to stay fit in the chat window if you can say hi to me it'll be good fun yes so there is Sarendra who's into uh, yeah there is Nirmala Mary who likes to do this thing there is hi so, so you see right while we are networking now I have a network of three people who I know I can discuss fitness with and connect with and maybe we learn something from each other right oh yeah there's more people right you know, Amir want, says that I also want to, I do, I'm not yet, right? So you're inspiring other people as well. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know, this is what I like to do, you know? So that's another very good way to network of sorts, right? How to build a network, right? And it doesn't have to always be professional. It doesn't always have to be about sales. It doesn't have to be always about business. Trust me, it is more important to do less or smaller, meaningful networking than just, hey, hi, and if people have forgotten each other. It doesn't matter. Dreaming too. <laughs> uh, nice to hear that. Maybe you should put that to action, uh, Manpreet. Um, uh, show up for things if invited, right? Often we are so busy, we are tired. We expect people to come to our event, but we don't go to theirs. We expect people to come to our houses, but we don't go to theirs. So make time for 
show up for things when people need right it could be a good reason or a bad reason you know what it's important for example i'm going to say something uh, dark which is like hey you know what if someone has died please show up show up show strength show support it's important you know they they're going through a tough time I mean, it's in fact one of the best ways to actually show up for people this is also a form of networking while obviously you're not doing it in that manner but that person when tomorrow you need them for something or you request or when you need them in your good or bad times will show up for you right so show up for thing in priority to or if you can go make an effort don't stop don't wait for someone to call you right it's okay make the time for hobbies and interest trust me guys the amount of bonding on a professional level that happens on golf course football grounds cricket stadiums or cricket grounds that it's unparalleled unparalleled right there's so much networking that happens so you know don't be don't be like hey you know what i used to do this when i was in you know college or when i was in school but i don't have time for this anymore trust me you can find some brilliant people that you can learn from grow with network with you know i've i've had people who you know i have interacted and met as flatmates to you know to people i know from football then we you know i've hired them or they've you know referred me at places all of these things keep happening right or you know if i wanted to you know for example i there was this one uh, you know i wanted to sell to a particular bank one of our softwares that we do you know i and the guy that i sold it through was actually met at football game it was we just got into a conversation and that's what like one thing like other i realized that hey you know they were looking for something like this i said why don't we come and there was a trust and a confidence and that led to a sale you know so it's just random make time for hobbies and uh, this thing then travel right traveling is one of the greatest ways to meet people from cultures perspective languages food there's so much that you can do and apps yeah there are so many networking apps you know social media apps to so many other apps right that are now coming into the formats where you can actually network right be present if you can't make it to a social event at least talk you know even some of these apps like quora and all where you are questioning answering questions and reddit there are some great places where you can find like minded people you know learn from them write for them give perspective share ideas whatever it might be so some great places where we can network our apps as well someone wrote initially right now that we have established how to kind of network and build a connection someone kind of established that it's very hard for him or her to strike a conversation it's very hard for me to strike a conversation i'm scared you know what if i make a fool of myself what if i have nothing to offer to the other person right let me tell you the first thing first right i say good product and bad product i want to ask this to any some person let's can we have manpreet can i ask you this question since you were dreaming of things um you know if i give you two options right a uh, good product right whatever the product might be bad packaging and bad product good packaging what is more chances of you to buy manpreet if you can answer uh, if you can go on mute and answer which one would you buy good product bad uh, good product uh bad, bad packaging bad product good packaging what is high, what what is more chances of you to buy good product bad packaging is the first option manpreet matlab agar main aapko bahut tasty biscuits do uska uska phata hua packet ho aise ganda sa paper laga ho aap kharidoge will you buy or versus diet right exactly my point right see no right fair enough so that's what i want to get to right so it's very important to package every you know the world is so productized now that before we see or strike a conversation with anybody or someone wants to with us you know it's very important to be packaged well that's what i want to get out right so please dress very smartly as per the event or an occasion right grooming right hey you know what you know if you can have a good beard have a good haircut you know wear you know have a wear polished shoes you know uh, you know maybe use a perfume uh, you know or deodorant if you can you know everybody likes to you know you know often what happens is we get shamed for dressing up well trust me guys even if you get shamed for dressing up well right some people like hey why are you so what you dress and so on so forth but secretly everybody aspires to be better dressed better group trust me and i have no one ever wanted to look bad or dirty right so please first before you strike a conversation dress smartly groom yourself but maintain a good digital identity i think we've proved that point before right so i'm not going to stress too much time on that remember when you're in a networking setup right and in an event or anything else everybody also has come for the same thing 
right? If they didn't want to have a conversation with you or talk to you, and so on and so forth, they would not come to an event. They would stay at home, right? They would not come here if people didn't want to have this interaction. Why would they waste their time in an evening on a on a Saturday evening uh, or a Friday? What what today is what? Um, yeah. So on a Saturday evening, uh, they would have go outside and have fun. They will, you know, eat food, be talk to their family. Why would they want to come here? So everybody is here. because they want to network learn from each other do something so remember everyone else is here for the same purpose and by the way that is why the lowest percentage failure can happen at a networking event or a network as compared to a cold reach out you know so if you wanted to sell you rather than going to an office where you can be rejected a meeting you can actually go to a common event where you can see someone coming in absolutely to learn from each other i love to see that as well to you get to learn from each other so all i'm saying is how to strike a conversation remember in your head because you know before we strike a conversation we always are built so much fear in our heads that oh you know what if that person doesn't respond everybody here is here for the same purpose so you, the rejection is the lowest at this point at a from a conversation rejection standpoint yeah will can you get rejected yes can someone not react in the warm way that you want but well, that's okay that shouldn't stop you but the percentage is the lowest when your everybody else is here for the same thing maintain eye contact have a firm handshake these are some of the very important aspects for you know networking right when i say hey apur hey my name is apur you know i come from here you know i have nice meeting you or uh, you know what are you doing where do you come from you know all of that have a firm handshake have a firm into nice sort of introduction introduce to introduce yourself talk about who you are trust me we often live in this connected yet so disconnected world that we feel that hey you know what is the big deal i'm doing this startup i'm doing this idea i paint this There are there are millions of people who do the same. Actually, not there are millions of people who don't do all of these things. So be proud of who you are, where you come from, your identity, what you do, and introduce yourself proudly. And ask them, hey, you know what? E B B curious, curious to know who they are, where they come from. Don't only talk, listen as well. You know. So that's a very good way to strike a conversation with these sort of practices that you have built up to it. Then look for a commonality. You know what is common. You know. you know what be very curious for example you know hey you know i just asked someone right here fitness you know i could ask someone who's a foodie and i'm sure i'll find some foodies here as well and we can bond over food and then you know once i talk about then i can ask what cuisine do you eat you know or you know if someone all people are here for business i can be like hey you know what markets are you selling in what sort of digital or non digital products are you selling you know and so on and so forth and i can build conversations right so look for commonality look for be curious and be intrigued about the other person try and want to know more there's so much new things that you can know and you know as uh, you know um, you know alex and uh, alex or harmeet harmeet singh said we can learn so much about each other and from each other so be curious ask with confidence and humility don't be arrogant right don't show negative attitude or bad attitude uh, be confident but yet be grounded be hum- humble right so ask with humility you know it's important to have a good tone right and yes please in your head when you're striking a conversation it's okay to be rejected everybody gets rejected man uh, you know if you're in bombay anybody how many people from mumbai anybody here from mumbai uh, on the chat if you can or raise of hands anybody from mumbai oh yes yeah, so just jasim is from mumbai anybody else super oh viral is viral is also from mumbai so you know guys every day we get rejected for autos and taxis right right so what's the big deal if you someone rejects you get angry maybe get pissed but you go to the next one man and that's completely all right we live go ahead and live in the life so you go to do an event you try and do all of these things you try and have a conversation you someone rejects your conversation approach if they if they reject you no problem humble down bow down move ahead like have a next don't stop yourself from having conversation you make a goal right hey you know what i'm going to go to this place i'm going to have 15 people i'm going to randomly talk to today start with 5 start with 3 yeah yeah absolutely even a cxo gets rejected by an auto wala and taxi wala absolutely it doesn't matter who cares and he, to be honest the uh, uh, the fun is that auto wala cares nothing about the cxo to be honest he doesn't care who is this and how do i care so be okay with everybody gets rejected and you know whether we are deals whether we are anything else right it's okay to get rejected but don't stop trying you know if you are you know in to a meeting you're wanting to sell you're in a meeting you're in a you're selling to this prospect this person is not letting you enter the deal if you want to get into google but you know 
you have tried to connect with these many people they are not find a new friend go linkedin and interact write a nice message you know be smart be confident make sure you know what you're talking about you know and get into that conversation right it could be online or offline there's something i want to talk about today which is called reverse mentoring i want you to uh, anybody anybody here understands or knows the term called reverse mentoring anybody i want someone to give it give give give, give try unmute yourself anybody wants to say what is reverse mentoring have you ever heard about reverse mentoring anybody super if no one knows you know there is you know learning can Hello? happen both yeah sorry anybody else anybody is trying good yaar i'm glad yeah. someone knows yeah yeah over it please who is this yeah Who's? Har Harmeet here, Harmeet. Oh, brilliant, Harmeet. Love to hear from you. What is reverse yeah. mentoring, Harmeet? Yeah, yeah. So, so in my view, this is that um, everyone has got opportunity everywhere to learn. So, yes. Uh, in my younger days, uh, when I was having a boss, and those times the bosses used to be very, very different than today's bosses. So, one of my boss told me, Harmeet, you can learn from anybody and everybody. uh so if you if you feel that somebody is doing something good so then you would do it all the times in your life also if somebody is not doing good then also you learn and um, there that i want to do this thing ever so that is one uh, kind of thing which i have learned second is that um, uh, reverse learning is that today's scenario in today's context if i am a uh, mentor or a coach of somebody a coachy so i am coaching but some of the times during uh, uh, during the uh, discussion or uh, the coaching moment i can also learn from the coachy so this is reverse wherein um, he also learn and i also learn from him understood so what i want absolutely right actually what i wanted to tell you you know a lot of people get scared with senior leaders people who have done well in life older people you know could be investors could be cxos could be ceos you know could be people who have a lot of wealth could be anything anybody who you want to have a connection or connection you know this thing let me tell you majority of them are first of all as scared as you are when when starting a conversation right you know from a steve jobs who is a fantastic presenter to a bill gates to everybody else when they walk a stage the time before they walk into a stage or into an event they have their own inhibitions and problem statements right but another thing that these guys are looking at is that when they talk to new people hear new ideas perspectives new things right when a older guy or a guy who's um, now done well in a field doesn't have time to know they also learn from you guys guys people come to a cxo doesn't need to come to an event unless speak being a speaker but a lot of them come to these events when they are not also a speaker they come to interact and network with people because they want to know what's happening new in the world what are people thinking and so on and so forth so there's a term called reverse mentoring guys P- people who are at least older than you bigger than you they want to learn from you hear from you their your perspectives please try and understand that that in your head you don't need to be scared about it they want to learn from you as well so go ahead and have a conversation i'm going to end this with the piece what are some of these things that you need to remember about networking right right one number one is have meaningful networking have genuine connections don't just go because you have to show your face and come back doesn't add any value just don't go click, click selfies and come back show that you are at an event trust me apart from garnering some likes you didn't get get anything else and it doesn't matter none of those likes are going to can recommend a job for you help you ideate on your startup spend time play a game with you nothing of that it's just plain simple like and everything else right please try and understand power of connections and power of networking is one to many the only way you do an event you do a product launch you can't afford anything you can't advertise you can't do anything but if you have good network and good connection if you share something people will share and you know imagine the number of people will view those things because you just shared so you actually can market at zero cost right that's the power of meaningful networking and genuine connection so please when you go networking if you can't del- go first know the purpose that you're going for and if you don't and after having a purpose have a meaningful networking go for a genuine connection there are two kinds of people in life right some people who inherit that right? because they're they've done their peers or their parents or their brothers their sisters their family has done well they inherited an organization so there either are two ways that you build networks one is you inherit and scale 
because you know hey my dad is the ceo of this company so i keep meeting with people you know hey, you know my dad is a millionaire or you know i i my brother is doing films so you know i through him i get to meet multiple people there could be so many things or you build see which category you fall in and always remember that but don't stay without a connection and inheritance is very important if you can tap into a network with your fam because of your family member because of anybody because of anything please don't shy with tap into it. it's your inheritance inheritance is not just about money it's trust me it's a lot more about all of these things please always know when you network what are you looking for and how can we help right for example when i strike a conversation i always look for you know in those conversation can i help someone in some way someone had also mentioned that one of the best ways to network is actually connect people help people you know that so you know please try to understand in a conversation if you're at an event what are they for can you actually help them in some way can you guide them hey you know what you're he here to to get softwares i can recommend you by the way go to that stall they're doing some crazy ass software you know and that is a help please try and help people another piece is you will get rejected you will have rejections people will not have conversations but persistence is key right specifically people in the world of sales and selling you will get rejected try finding unique ways to connect don't don't try and follow that it's so aggressively that they feel stalked and they feel bothered but in the right way have a persistent follow up on things you know when you do go to an event when you go to a this thing go add them on linkedin send them a nice invite remind them of the conversation you know write them an email you know send them a message politely on their phone obviously don't slide into dms and stuff like that but do the right thing persistence is key don't just have a event and no follow up wherever you want to meaningfully connect start a conversation don't be scared start a conversation it's very important to start a conversation networking is not alone a skill but it's a mindset everybody talks about this that networking is a skill you know i don't have the skill i don't have the skill no it is a or not a loner skill one that skill can be built with time and it can go from imperfection to perfection it's a mindset some people just don't know how to survive and thrive without network and most smart people most people doing well in their lives personally professionally or both know that how to use this mindset so make a networking mindset try and form teams bonds connections wherever you are right when you go with your house self at home to your boss at work to your fellow colleague in a different department to a you know petrol pump guy that you meet try it's a mindset i'm sure all of you see some people who do all of these sort of things let me tell you a lot of people feel that people who socialize a lot network a lot there is a stigma associated with it right hey you know or this is not the right thing to do this guy is always or girl is always outside always talking to people they can talk to anybody we should not be doing this should not be doing that this and that please this is a stigma of the old it is anti progression if you are not networking connecting with people forming genuine connections you will not progress in life you will not move ahead networking is absolutely very much so there is the third last statement one of the last statements i want to make is networking is the currency of our age even if you have money to grow that money to grow that company to grow that wealth to grow your career you need networking is the currency that you spend to build all of these sort of things so it is a currency of our age right if you don't have this currency you will not progress in life so you need to do this everywhere and anywhere you can to be in the right place at the right time right we we said right we started initially with the fact that he so lucky always at the right place at the right time to be in the right place at the right time you first have to be found right you have to be at some place so unless you step out out of your comfort zone meet people talk to people go to events to and sell to sell your product to meet career and this and that you have to first be found so please go step out meet people you will be found by the right thing at the right time luck that i be mentioned right hey he so lucky that person so lucky doesn't come alone luck comes by people i've had weird founder stories where investments have happened because someone met someone in college or and now is in some investment firm someone met someone when they were in school someone met someone on a train journey or a flight and it led one conversation led to other so luck doesn't happen by sitting at home luck happens because you connect with people you see commonality you see purpose and then they connect with you you can actually find a job because you had a great conversation on a flight or on a train or in a bus at a park you don't know unless you have how would you know 
So luck comes through other people. It doesn't come alone. And not alone about what you know, right? Networking is not alone about what you know. It's also about what you, what do you know, right? So for example, alone, as in what I'm trying to essentially say is that when you're networking, try and, try and understand and talk about not just what others know, talk about what you already know. Start from a place because we already know a lot of things. Maybe some of you know, you know, history really well, somebody you know, geography really well, share ideas, share pieces. So don't just try and feel that you, other people know everything and you don't. And you know, you know a lot of things. How would you know the value of it unless you shared? So please, these are some of the things that you need to remember while you're networking. And uh, this is it from me for today. Please, um, Go go outside, go on events, form communities, bond with people, have meaningful connections, but don't shy away from striking a conversation and building a network. So this is all I have for today. I'm open to any sort of questions anybody has for the last five minutes. Uh, I think we've elapsed time. It's seven o'clock, but I'll give five minutes to everybody. Anybody has any questions? Anybody has anything? I hope the session was useful and I'm going to shut my sharing. Um, you know, was for you guys. And if, if I was able to add value, any feedback, please go ahead. Anybody. I see some raised hands. I'm assuming is that for questions? But are we there? Anybody, please feel free. Any questions anybody has? Any, any? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. This, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uday is here. Hi, Uday. Uday, I'm not, sir. You'll call Hello. me Apoor. My name is Apoor, so you'll call me Apoor. I'm no, sir. Okay. Go okay, ahead. okay, Apoor. Uh, actually, in the, in the last slide, actually, actually, there will be a misconception. Yeah. Uh, can you share me that? Just give me a second. I will try and reshare my slide. Just give me one second. The last screen yeah. before the thank you. Uh, in the last point, you have explained that uh, not alone about what do you know, it also about what do you know. Actually, it has mentioned. Sorry, who, who do, do you know? know? Who do you who do you know? Oh. Sorry, my bad. Oh. My bad. Oh. Thank you for pointing no, that out. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I have actually explained it a little wrong, but what I wanted to highlight was here was that it's not alone about what you know. It also today is about who you know. For example, uh, if I am a copywriter, right, or I am a salesman, right, or I am a CEO of a company, correct, one identity that you have is all of these things, right, my skill sets and everything else. Another part of the identity, by the way, is also who we know as people. You know what? If I, have a, if I have a connection with people, for example, let's say if I know a bunch of gamers or if I know a bunch of CXOs or if I know, let's say, a bunch of, uh, um, you know, golfers, I know a cricket cricketer in my, because he's, he or she's from my village. So I'm saying it increases your chances of bonding, networking and your social influence across the base as well. It can be a door opener at places because, hey, you know what, I can say, you know what, you know what, my neighbor actually is a cricketer who plays for India. You know, he was, he was, he is, his village is right, he stays right next to me in my village. Sorry, and thank you for pointing that out. It's not alone today in a networking scenario about what you know. It is also about who do you know, right? So the more connections that are meaningful that you have, you know, you will see more progression in world, more success and more this thing. Thank you for pointing that out. I'm sorry, interest of time. I'm running hurry, hurry, uh, hurriedly running into the session and to close this off interest of time, I might have missed out on it. But thank you for pointing that Uday. But you wanted to, anything else you want to know or highlight? No, actually it was the single word has changed the perspective, changed everything, meanings. That's why I'm asking, is there anything you want to share? No, no, that is the only point I wanted to share. And, uh, and, uh, and you know that's the only thing that I want to I wanted to say of course. Um, uh, actually, I have a doubt. Go for it, please. If, hello. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, if we go for a connection, actually, mm -hmm. uh, I heard some contents. I read some contents. They have mentioned that we have to add some value to them before we get offer or something from them. So yeah. how how do we do that? Because we are approaching no. a person for some need. So mm -hmm. at the situation, how can I add value to them to get that connection successful? Understood. So they, I'll say this way that, um, you know, having, you don't often have to 
find a value or deliver value see value is also a very very shaky concept right value doesn't always mean that you know you have to answer someone's doubt or you know you need to pass someone a lead or you need to have a you know guide someone mentor someone this is not always right value could be very simple right for example uday can i ask you one thing uh, are there days what do you do for yourself uday actually i am an engineer okay and are you studying or mechanical are you a mechanical engineer who works for no i am working number brilliant can i ask you one thing that are there days when you go to office and you are not as happy as you would want to be there are days yeah, right so many days not, right so many days right can i yes. ask you that if someone comes up and walks yes. to you and cracks a joke or talks to you about it realizes right next to you two three days you know some of your friend or ex colleague or someone who is sitting right next across you walks in and has a conversation would you call that networking in a way maybe it's first time you have he's a new employee he saw you he walked across he realized that you're not being well he had a conversation you cheered up with that conversation would you call that networking in the office yes yes, yes. right and actually he is is a stranger before the conversation ah yeah and with the cha- with a good conversation so you you to be i'm just saying that with this conversation right that he had with you your mood kind of opened up would you feel that, that he passed some value to you yeah yes because he made me happy when i was sad when i was upset correct so he passed some value to you right so i am just saying that you know value often yeah. we do go we do we go in deep so much and we think you know value has to be something very big it can be anything you know okay. like for example you and me can bond and network over going to gym right that is also networking it's okay right. we might just end up discussing that oh you know what have you tried this new exercise that's also networking why would you want to right. always have these big values of you know oh i have to pass in some knowledge do some this do some that you know some money some lead some you know career opportunity why have that pressure just have a conversation and if that conversation leads to you coming together networking is a process na today i'm sure there are people who you in in case of a job right there there was somebody in your school you are not in touch with but you had a good time in the school you have said hi to him on some platform you said hey i need some help can i pass your number you can reach out to him for a job right and be like hey, you know i've seen this company is your company is offering can you help me get recommended referred inside right that's a conversation right so it's not necessary yes, that yes. today when we make a connection the fulfillment fulfillment of networking can happen today only it anybody can come of use to you anywhere in your life at any point of time and you'll be surprised so don't think of networking as a place only big large value transfer has to happen and has to happen right now alone it can happen at any point of time yes 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 yeah understood clear yeah, yeah. so put it so go ahead and have a conversation don't stop yourself just go meet people talk to people sure sure thank you so much i'll do that ravi ravi over to you any you had a question and actually i raised my hand earlier but i got the answer uh, through some other guy thank you oh brilliant brilliant the other oh, other I people would a... super uh-huh. yes, right. i have a small small question uh, uh, you can have, you can ask a small or a large question but you'll have to tell me your yeah. name there's so many people on the screen yeah yeah my name is harmeet uh, okay, my harmeet. question yeah. is that um, i agree and thank you very much for sharing all uh, your thoughts um, uh, in the networking how much uh-huh. is too much so is there something defined that how much time you should spend on networking <laughs> because um um you i i i think i have said it that uh, the limits are there or there is no uh, rule uh, so i think I'll, i'll i'll i know i i got your question so let me highlight this a very good question actually yeah so i think in networking don't focus on the networking bit focus on having genuine connections and conversations networking by default will happen correct right correct my yes. question to you is right you know have, um, uh, have you ever traveled to the hills for me yeah yeah you yeah. have right correct and uh, have you eaten maggi in cold yes. maggi khate na cold mein right uh-huh. can, I, can you tell me that the maggi that you make at home and maggi that you make in that place doesn't that maggi taste sound taste tastier yeah yeah 
correct because i don't but, i don't eat maggi at home but but even if you do i am saying even if you had one one time maggi at home but you compared the maggi the hills maggi everybody says wow itna maza aa gaya itna ho gaya and all that right the same maggi right correct yeah. but it's so much more tastier right hmm. all i am trying to essentially tell you is that if you f- genuinely enjoy something right you do it from your heart you do it in hmm. a way that you are rather than focusing on the end purpose right the guy there is not sitting and cooking something different you just you want to have a maggi you are enjoying the maggi and you are standing right i am saying in the networking event if you focus on networking right it is in a going to be a little fake focus on connections and conversations right not how much you can network and so on so and if you think that you are tired and you can't do this anymore please take a step back don't do it because if you're tired and you're bored and you're not enjoying it you're not going to be able to connect properly correct number 1 yeah number 2 if you're in a conversation right and you want to judge um, hindi mein bilkul bolte hai sir vijay sir <laughs> so ab main ye bol raha hu ki agar uh, agar hum uh, ye uh, agar hame ye watch karna hai ki maza nahi aa raha maza nahi aa raha ya kya ho raha hai samne wala banda hamare ko react nahi kar raha ya main bahut zyada to news ka time le raha hu ye nahi laga hu yaar hmm. body language ko dekho है ना उसकी आंखों को देखो उसके मुंह को देखो क्या वो लेफ्ट राइट देख रहा है आगे पीछे देख रहा है क्या वो जल्दी में है क्या उसके पाओ वो बार बार टैप कर रहा है है ना वो हाथ को ऐसे ऐसे कर रहा है बहुत सारी बॉडी में ना साइलेंट सिग्नल्स होते हैं जब आदमी बोर होना शुरू हो जाता है इधर उधर देखना शुरू कर देता है अगर आपको लगता है ऐसा वक्त आ रहा है और आप बात कर रहे हो किसी से तो उस बात को खत्म कर दो जल्दी से ताकि ना आप बोर हो ना वो और ये जरूरी नहीं हो सकता है कि वो इसलिए हमें कितना बात करना चाहिए वो ये नहीं मे बी उसको कहीं और जाना है मे बी उसको कहीं पे होना है मे बी वो थक गया है मे बी उसने बहुत सारे लोगों से बात कर ली है ऐसे भी हो सकता है इस आपकी बात मे बी आप किसी और दिन उससे बात करते तो शायद उसको और अच्छा लगता है आपसे बात करके तो ये दीज आर ऑल्सो द सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट मेक सेंस सो ऑलवेज लुक फॉर बॉडी लैंग्वेज एंड साइलेंट सिग्नल्स राइट एंड यू कैन डू इट फ्रॉम वॉइस ऑल्सो राइट सर वेन यू आर टॉकिंग एंड ऑल्सो ना अनदर पीस राइट always get people to speak and hear to agar aap one of the best ways to even do a session like this is to get people to talk right because then they feel involved to agar aap hi bolte reh jaoge aur main aapki sunu hi nahi sawal nahi puchu aap bologe yaar kya hai classroom thodi chal rahi hai bore ho gaya yaar hai na to jitna aap jit kam jitna aap bolte ho agar aap ek bolte ho na to unko do bolne do ye best hota hai life mein jitna wo bolenge na utna unko maza aayega aapse baat karne ke kyunki sabko na bolna pasand hota hai jo chup rehta hai na wo bhi aadmi उसको वो शाय होता है बट जब उसको मौका मिलता है बात करने का वो खुल के बात करता है मजा आता है उसको तो बोलना सबको पसंद है एक्सप्रेस करना सबको पसंद है बस कोई ज्यादा बोलता है कोई कम बोलता है कोई शाय होता है कोई कॉन्फिडेंट होता है आई होप आई वॉज एबल टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन या अपूर्व मेरा जो सवाल था वो डिजिटल नेटवर्किंग से रिलेटेड था एक और दूसरा जैसा आपने बोला हर आदमी बोलना पसंद करता है मौका मिले नहीं मिले तो उसमें मेरा शेयरिंग है सबसे पीपल मे और मे नॉट एग्री कि सत्तर तीस का जो प्रिंसिपल है ये मोस्टली जगह अप्लाई होता है सत्तर तीस मतलब यहाँ भी अगर सत्तर सुनते हैं और तीस बोलते हैं तो परेटो नो व्हाट वी तो वो सब जगह हाँ तो मैं मैं आपसे हंड्रेड परसेंट सहमत हूँ उसमें कि आपको सुनना ज्यादा है और बोलना आ, कम है अगर आप सामने वाले को मौका देते हैं तो बहुत अच्छा रहता है मेरा जो सवाल था ना कि डिजिटल नेटवर्किंग में कितना समय लगाना चाहिए आ, वो वाला थोड़ा अगर आप लाइट डाल पाएंगे तो आल्सो वुड बी बहुत ही अच्छा है यार पहले तो आप आ, आ, मैं ये सजेस्ट करूंगा कि कितना टाइम से ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है कि कितना आप कंसिस्टेंट हो कितना आप बार बार करते हो करेक्ट और टाइम के लिए कोई फॉर्मूला नहीं है यार आप आप पॉइंट है आप कितनी फॉर एग्जांपल मैं कहता हूं कि आप दिन में दस मिनट ही कर सकते हो ठीक है फर्क ये नहीं पड़ता कि आप दस मिनट करो फर्क ये पड़ता है कि आप दस मिनट हर रोज कर सकते हो क्या सुनना रहे आपको या वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टाइम आपके हिसाब से क्या कितना और पता है लोगों के साथ एक प्रॉब्लम ये भी होती है कि लोग ना कई बार करने के लिए लिखते हैं और वो दिख जाता है वो ओवरडोज हो जाता है वो दिख जाता है तो अगर अगर आपके पास बोलने के लिए कुछ नहीं है और आप यूजुअली आप एक घंटा करते हो तो आप आधा घंटा ही करो क्योंकि मेरे पास बोलने के लिए कुछ है नहीं कम बोलो पर सही बोलो 
ठीक है तो कितना करने से ज्यादा है कि कितना आप कंसिस्टेंटली करते हो कितना बार बार करते हो करेक्ट और पता है क्या होता है और वेट मत करो रीट्रेट करो टूटी इंग्लिश में करो यू नो यू नो अच्छा जब तक आप मेहनत नहीं करोगे और बार बार नहीं लिखोगे कैसे फिगर आउट करोगे कि हो क्या रहा है और पता है क्या होता है आज और लोग क्या सोचते राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉन्टेंट इज लाइक वेट लॉस प्रोग्राम लोग लोग क्या करते हैं एक महीना करते हैं और सोचते हैं कि जिंदगी भर फिट रहेंगे बट फर्क वो नहीं है फर्क ये है कि आपको ये कंसिस्टेंटली करना पड़ेगा अगर आपको जेनुनली ढंग से वेट लूज करना है और अपना मोटापा कम करना है तो प्रॉब्लम आपको एक छह साल या बार बार छह महीने या एक साल धीरे 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 करके कंसिस्टेंटली करना पड़ेगा ताकि आपका एक्चुअल वेट लॉस हो नहीं तो आप एक महीने के बाद दो महीने बाद फिर देखोगे वेट वेट वापिस वहीं पर आ गया हेल्थ बना हेल्थ बनाओ वेट लॉस पे फोकस मत करो राइट वैसे ही कॉन्वर्सेशन करो ऑनलाइन लिखो कंसिस्टेंटली बात करो कंसिस्टेंटली एंड कोई भी आइडिया कोई भी फैक्ट कोई भी ओपिनियन इतना ही कुछ नहीं है ना उस दिन ओपिनियन पोल ही कर दो तो कितना टाइम से ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है कितना कंसिस्टेंटली आप रेगुलर हुआ हाँ थैंक यू और इतने सारे प्लेटफॉर्म है आजकल वट टू चूज हाउ टू चूज दैट ऑल्सो आई थिंक मैटर्स बहुत मैटर करता है यार मेरे हिसाब से प्रोफेशनली ट्विटर और लिंक सबसे ज्यादा अप्रोप्रिएट प्लेटफॉर्म है पर्सनली आई थिंक मैं इंडिया कॉन्टेक्स में बता रहा हूँ और प्लेटफॉर्म भी चेंज होता है राइट फ्रॉम द पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो करेक्ट तो कहीं पे लिंक का फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप सऊदी अरेबिया में जाओगे कोई लिंक यूज ही नहीं करता फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता करेक्ट आप यू नो आप क्या बोलते हैं इंडोनेशिया में जाओगे लोग प्रोफेशनली व्हाट्सएप पे बात करना चाहते हैं वो आराम से आपको अपना वी चैट और व्हाट्सएप का नंबर दे देंगे करेक्ट तो ये भी चेंज होता है तो मैं कहता हूँ आप अपने लिए डिसाइड करो कि आपका गोल क्या है और वहां से बैकवर्ड करो कि आपको करना क्या चाहिए क्योंकि फॉर एग्जांपल राइट मतलब मैं तबेले में जाके नेटवर्किंग सिखाऊंगा तो नेटवर्किंग को क्या उसको फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता राइट तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑडियंस क्या है? है क्या बोलना चाहता हूं मैं क्या सीखना चाहता हूँ और उस हिसाब से यह सब करना चाहिए उसका सॉरी मैं क्लोज एंडेड आंसर नहीं दे रहा हूँ क्योंकि मुझे नहीं लगता है कि ये बहुत प्राइवेट और पर्सनल चीज है तो आप डिसाइड आपको डिसीजन लेकर अपने लिए खुद होना पड़ेगा बट मैं प्रिंसिपल तरीके से बता रहा हूँ नेटवर्किंग मिसकनसेप्शन थैंक यू सो मच हिंदी में मैंने कोशिश किया है फाइंड आउट अबाउट कम्युनिटी आई एम एम बी ए स्टूडेंट हाउ कैन आई फाइंड आउट एम बी ए सो दैट आई कैन गेट मोर नॉलेज एंड नेटवर्क यार एंड What I wanted to say ये बोलना चाहता हूँ कि if you are an MBA student and how can I find about MBA community यार couple of things एक तो LinkedIn is the best way to professionally and education wise network uh, also अगर आप courses करोगे तो आप वहाँ पे network find करोगे मुझे लगता है Quora जैसी communities और Reddit जैसी communities बहुत अच्छी हैं मैं personally काफी लोगों से मिलता हूँ उसके अलावा I think बहुत सारे forums हैं यार मेरे को sorry मैं MBA के बारे में इतना मेरे को याद नहीं बहुत साल हो गए मेरे को MBA के हुए बट फोरम्स में और अपने एलोमनाए मीट्स में जाओ यार अगर आप आपकी एलोमनाए मीट्स होती हैं सब होता है तो आप प्लीज प्लीज गो टू एलोमनाए मीट्स एंड ऑल इट इज अ गुड वे टू नेटवर्क बट बियॉन्ड दैट दैट इज वेरी इट इज आल्सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज व्हिच यू कैन यूज टू बिल्ड नेट यू नो एजुकेशन एंड गेट यू नो अपस्किल्ड एंड सो ऑन सो फॉर आई होप दैट आंसर द क्वेश्चन एनी सो इन इंटरेस्ट ऑफ टाइम गाइस आई थिंक वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रॉस्ड 20 मिनट्स एंड आई वुड लाइक टू यू नो क्लोज द सेशन um you know i'll leave to the team juno uh, to kind of come in if they want to but uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity thank you for listening to me and dhanyawad and uh, hopefully uh, looking to connect with you please add me drop me an email connect with me on linkedin wherever you want any help always around thank you so much guys and uh, over to himadri thank you sir thank you so thanks, much apurva and uh, thanks apurva thank you guys thanks and i think you know it was really insightful because all of us know that networking is important but i think we miss out on the nitty gritties that we need to be focusing on and thanks to purva for adding uh, insights onto that and also addressing uh, specific questions which were very valid because you know that's that's something that we struggle with when it comes to day to day networking right and thank you everybody for being a lovely audience and i'm sure that everybody has commitments on saturday but still you did uh, take out time to be a part of this master class uh have a great weekend ahead and uh, we will connect next saturday and, same time uh, at 
o'clock. Yeah. And go go outside, network and have a beer <laughs> on, on, on a network. If you don't have a beer, have a have a have a juice or a you know a smoothie. But go have fun and network with people outside. Go 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 outside. Cheers. Thank you so much, Apoor, for the final tip for us at the evening. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and we connect next Saturday, uh, six thank o'clock you. sharp for the next. Thank you, Himadri. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, thank you, Harmi. Thank you. Happy weekend. Happy thank weekend, you, guys. Bye.